Okay. Over to you. Thank you. Thanks so much. I think we, we had a pretty interesting panel discussion. I think we spoke about uh, you know the important aspects of being omnichannel and how the great retailers and, and our partners in this country are achieving it. What I thought is that you know when I got this slot, I thought uh, let me share with you something regarding what we SAP, we at SAP think that uh, how do we take this journey beyond? How when I say beyond, I basically uh, mean to say that how we go beyond omnichannel. Uh, omnichannel, I think it's a it's a buzzword in this industry for a couple of years now, um, and it's time to think that how we actually go beyond omnichannel. Um, I'd just like to start with a small snippet, uh, which basically, you know, uh, kind of gives you a glimpse that where uh, this particular word called omnichannel is going, and how our customers are becoming the center focus point for this particular, uh, you know, paradigm of shift from omnichannel to beyond omnichannel. Until today, you could think of your customers as an anonymous crowd, an undetermined bulk of user IDs, faceless and unknown, who you just communicated to in blasts and blasts. Of ads and emails, the customer in a black box. Let me tell you, it yeah, is we not are true. Difficulty. I'm sorry for this. We can skip the video and go forward. Let's not uh, you know, make our valuable audience wait for this. Can I have the lights, please? Yeah, thanks. So you know, if whatever you speak about, right, it ultimately boils down to some factors of, of in today's retail, and it's it's important to see not only the outside in view but also the inside out view, right? And so we, this is our worldwide experience says that there are basic four keys which any retailer would like to have, would like to look into in any kind of technology investment, any kind of shift frame which is happening in this world today. What are those? The first one is productivity. Why it's important in productivity is because the changing shift of the customer focus, the changing shift of the technology enablement which customer is having today. And for that, any retailer has to keep a very close tag of the productivity of its own professionals. Whether it's a professional which is customer facing entity, for example, the store assistants of the world, or it's talking about in-house professionals which speaks about supply chain management or it speaks about a data science kind of roles which are coming in. We need to always have a tag on the productivity side. Next one is profitability. <coughs> Sorry, when you talk about profitability, it's all because all these paradigm shift of single channel to multi channel to omni channel, we have to also realize that the business model of today's retail world is changing. When you have the changing in, in change in the business model, your profitability also has to be measured differently. Organizations are taking around the world different measures to see and to measure profitability correctly. The techniques which were used might be four years or three years back, today are getting obsolete because the whole convergence of offline to online is changing. Many of the organizations, if you see like Apple's or Nordstrom of the world, they are changing their whole, whole way to measure the profitability. Another important factor, let's not forget, when you make all the channels or all the ways for a customer transparent, a major challenge to a retailer is of course to have the consistent pricing model as well as the price at every touch point. And your price is directly proportional to your profitability. That's the reason why we have to keep a, keep a continuous focus on your profitability. Of course, how can I forget personalization? Interestingly, you know, this, the last year when I attended the NRF at New York, it said that the tools which will enable to have personalization around the world uh, is, was approximately ranked on sixth or seventh in terms of importance. This year when I attended, it actually went up to point number one. So personalization 
is extremely important. How do you do, how do you behave a customer, how do you enable your system to have the factor of V to I. If Sandeep goes to any of your channel, he should be actually treated and identified as Sandeep, not as a mass. For example, on the basis of age group or marital status or any kind of demographic information, those era is slowly and slowly dying out. And so, one of the areas which is extremely important and that's where the money lies is that this is the way you actually enable the payments. The more you talk about the channels, the more you talk about the convergence, the more you talk about the integrated point, customers are demanding the different modes of payment. That's why these four P's are absolutely important. So what are the key trends which we see? If those are the important points. Let's understand what are the key trends which are seeing in the retail world and why these are important because this will decide your technology spend or your you know, professional spend or intellectual spend in each of your organization. Well, this is actually a very interesting concept. Now, a couple of companies, if you see Veggie Box uh, of UK, what they're trying to understand, and I, I believe this is more prevalent in, in uh, those case of those retailers who deals about you know, microservices, who deals about micro products or like groceries and etc., which changes from time to time, from day to day. Now, what we call about is a new era of trend is happening, which is called subscription commerce. What's happening over there, subscription commerce? Now, though my, though my picture is a little bit blurred, but the lady actually is performing on yoga, and that box basically signifies her mobile. So when she is doing the yoga, today the technologies are enabled at Veggie Box to basically send couple of recommendations which are related to yogas, related, uh, you know, your, your uh, treatment or relaxing mass massaging oil or whatever it is. So that's the kind of subscription services which we are seeing today. Why? Because at the end of the day, your customer needs is changing. Your customer doesn't know that what he or she needs tomorrow. So your subscription is the model where we're going to see. So from a commodity, which was there a couple of years back, to our defined requirement, which is there today, we are going to have a bouquet of requirements or we call subscription e-commerce. Now, we started talking about personalization. However, the personalization identified Sandeep as I, that's fine. But what about the next level? Do I know what Sandeep's the whole day curriculum is? Do I know, for example, if, if Sandeep is a yoga freak, do I know uh, you know, what kind of BMI index he carries, for example, or do I know that what's the kind of food habit Sandeep is actually preferring because today he's, he's on a diet which is related to yoga. Now, if, if, we, if we really want to consider that, you actually have a beyond or a microservice kind of a personalized service in all of your retailer, and that's trending is coming up. Oops, sorry. Sorry for that. Uh, now, this is another significant. Now, the technology, we always say, you know, uh, when you talk about our generations back, they always tell us, you know, you people are becoming more technology savvy, which means you don't want to do hard work. You, you are becoming more lethargic. You depend on technologies and so forth and so on. I think we, all of us, we have heard it from our, um, you know, earlier generations. And act actually, this is a very important trend which is happening today. And we call them that particular trend as the couch shopper. So today, the person even might be doesn't, watching a movie doesn't even want to move out of the couch. And still, he wants to buy a shoe or a particular jacket, which a particular character is actually wearing in that particular scene. It's not a you know, visualization. It's not a, it's not a virtual reality. It's actually reality today happening in the world. And of course, let's not forget the socialism. So in a couple of years back, Always the social, you know, the social medias, whether it's Facebook uh, or whether it's Twitter, they were all used to exchange messages. Today we are seeing a shift where people are actually expecting that any retail house reach out to the social media page and help them to buy or procure the wish list from that page. So social media is changing from a, you know a kind of a brand affinity platform where to a particular purchasing platform. So technologies or the trends of the retailers are moving to that direction. So all these mean actually that many of the organization, as I named a couple of them, um, are moving to a term called omni-organization. And what does it mean? We just saw a couple of experts you know, speaking about how they are moving. Integration, 
not waiting for the customers to come to them, you actually move yourself to your consumers or customers. And for that, commerce or touch point channel enablers are only just the first level. What we actually need to do, whether we heard about it when we talk about inventory, you know, seamless inventory management across channel, we heard about the pricing comparison app, you know, across the channel, we heard about product information management, all that disparate system at the back end has to change and the basic surround strategy is customers. So what does it mean? Well, definitely brand is most important. Interestingly, if you see earlier days, the retailers used to sell brand. Now actually, the brand sells the resellers. For example, many of the times we have seen, oh, you need this shirt, you know what? You can get it in Shopper Stop at the last price, right? So that means that your brand, Louis Philippe, is actually talking about a brand called Shopper Stop. So it's changing. Interestingly, 57% of our consumers today in India research the product in different channels. Their purchase pattern is heterogeneous. They're not seamless anymore. So your brand is a center point. And if you really want to see the center point, that's exactly what you need to do going forward. Well, this is a very interesting concept. I know a couple of uh, you know, my partners in India who are, who are actually uh, you know, competitors to each other. They are joining hands to see that how a consumer or you know, a customer reaching to any of their channel can actually have access to the products which are available to the other channel. We have a new term developing, and it's called frenemies, right? They, compete, they, they basically compete with each other, but in order to have the wallet share of the customer, they are joining hands with each other, and they are seeing how we, they can take out the maximum wallet share, because that's, that's the ultimate goal. The next one, of course, is supply chain management. We heard about it. The whole, the whole story can be stitched together. The whole customer experience can be given when you actually go and have a seamless supply chain management. Of course, let's not forget that all this enablement can happen when we have the right technology in place. The technology which always focus on two things. How you can make your customer, the expert customers, actually getting more and more integrated in your brand, in your systems, understand and traverse across your channel seamlessly. At the same time, technology should be talking about how your backend for the inside out view is actually more and more enabled. So let me just go to my last section which speaks about future of retail. Where is actually then we should, what are the areas where we should be focusing more if I really want to realize all the trends, understands and take care of my profitability. Many of the years last, particularly a decade, people thought, you know, the retailers thought that if they talk about technology, that's it. So what happened? The technology becomes more and more stronger, but a but lot of my partners, the technology houses, the retailer houses around the world forgot that actually it's about a human psychology. It's actually the person, the customer, which is more important. How does a customer feel at the point of when he's looking at the brand, any channel, offline or online? What, what is your uh, you know, potentiality of the brand? What's the message you actually want to provide to the brand, to the customer? Is the customer is being taken care of, considered as I, not we? All this human touch is again, this you know, next three years, we will be seeing across the world that most of the technology innovations will be happening which are talking about how do you blend a technology to a human you know, sentiments, and that's why you talk about you know, softwares or technologies like customer sentiment behavior analysis. Well, we have a lot of data today. I think data is the most scientific monetization factors for the organization, which also means that it is most important to use the data to have some actionable insights also. Yes, we have the data, but today is the time when we think about it, how do we invest, how, and what exactly the technolo technology investment which you need to do to have a, you know, an actionable, a, you know, a, 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 a detailed action driving out the insight of the data of every touch point. Every touch point generates data. Question is, what are we doing? How are we doing? Real time, you know, more relevant, more contextual to the customer. And that's what we talk about our personal journey. All the technology at the end of the day should be having all your contextuality, all your relevancy, and across all the channels. If the customer leaves any channel and enters, the customer should not 
feel that he is the first time it is interacting. So, we need to follow our customer, we need to enable our channels in such a way that the customer is the unique eccentricity as well as you know the uniqueness of your brand, because at the end of the day your customers increases the brand. And that is why we stress on the human touch which is a unique relationship. Thank you for your time, really appreciate.